A Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, the 22nd piece of God's Purple Puzzle Tree. The story of Jittery Jonah is as wild and weird as any story of the sea from any tale-telling sailor. Jonah was a prophet of God who didn't like to preach, but God had given orders to go and preach to Nineveh, that great big evil city far, far away. Well, Jonah got the jitters and ran to save his skin. He took a ship to sail away, far away from Israel and far away from God or so he thought. Then a weird thing happened as the ship sailed out to sea. A storm blew up from out of nowhere and threw the ship around as if it were a cardboard box filled with helpless toys. And still today, sailors sing of the storm and jittery Jonah. From out of nowhere, storms raged in from out of nowhere, waves roared up from out of nowhere after Jerry Jonah. Hooey winds were blowing, hooey storms were raging, hooey waves were roaring after Jerry Jonah. The sailors in the ship had never seen a storm so fierce, so they prayed to all their gods. They dragged out Jittery Jonah and ordered him to pray. Someone's God has caused this storm, the tough old sailor said. Get down on the deck and pray, Jonah, or otherwise you're dead. Then the sailors took their lots, which are like a pair of dice, and threw them on the deck in the middle of the raging storm. The lots, they said, would find the man on board who had caused the evil storm. Whoever threw a pair of ones like a pair of green snake eyes would be the guilty man. And still today, sailors sing of the lots and jittery Jonah. Cast the lots and see who's guilty, throw the dice and see who's guilty. Pair of ones means that man's guilty, is it jittery Jonah? Snake eyes stared at someone, snake eyes glared at someone, snake eyes fixed on someone right on jittery Jonah. The lot said Jonah was to blame, and Jonah really was. My God is chasing me, said Jonah, because I will not preach to a great big evil city far, far away. They threw poor jittery Jonah into the raging sea, and just like that, the sea was calm, and the waves were flat like a wide green-blue carpet or a shiny green-blue mat. Then a strange thing happened as all the sailors watched. A big and monstrous fish came roaring from the deep. And still today, sailors sing of the fish and jittery Jonah. Monstrous fish from out of nowhere, like a whale from out of nowhere, roaring up from out of nowhere after jittery Jonah. Whoops, there in goes Jonah, whoops, there down goes Jonah, whoops, there, where is Jonah, poor old jittery Jonah. What makes the story very strange is that Jonah didn't drown at all. For three days he swam around in piles of electric eels the monstrous fish had swallowed. And while he was stuck in the midst of that muck, Jonah asked the Lord to stop his slopping around. Then a weird thing happened that almost makes us faint. That big and monstrous fish belched and burped and bellowed because of jittery Jonah. And still today, sailors sing of the fish and jittery Jonah. Monstrous fish with pains in the stomach, like a whale with pains in the stomach, roared and storm with pains in the stomach, pains from Jerry Jonah. Whoops, there up comes Jonah, whoops, there up comes Jonah, whoops, there, look at Jonah, messy Jerry Jonah. The fish threw poor old Jonah up high above the shore. Jonah sat upon the sand and smelled like rotten fish. Then God said to Jonah, Go, go and preach to Nineveh, that great big evil city, then this time don't say no. So Jonah went and preached to that great big evil city. Jonah made it very plain that God was coming very soon to burn that city down. Then a strange thing happened that no one can explain. Every man in that big city and all the children too changed their ways and turned to God. 
to the Yahweh Jonah knew. Jonah sat outside the town high upon a hill, waiting for his God to come and burn that city down. He sat for hours in the hot, hot sun, but Yahweh didn't come. Then a weird thing happened right where Jonah sat. A tall green plant grew up as the beanstalk grew for Jack. The plant gave Jonah shade from the hot, 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 hot sun, and that made Jonah glad. But a worm came up the next day and ate that plant until it withered away. And that made Jonah mad, jumping jittery mad. And still today, sailors sing of the plant and jittery Jonah. A green plant from out of nowhere, like a beanstalk out of nowhere, cast some shade from out of nowhere over jittery Jonah. One worm sucks at the beanstalk, one worm chews at the beanstalk, one worm kills off the beanstalk, poor old jittery Jonah. At last God said to Noah, why are you mad at me? Because I changed my mind and didn't burn the city down. Why are you sorry for that plant? You didn't make it grow, and now you want it back. Shouldn't I feel sorry for all the people in this town that I myself have made? Aren't they more important than a plant that only lasts a day? Shouldn't I love them more than you have loved your plant? Well, Jonah, what do you say? Will you sing this song? How many weird things have to happen? How many true words must be spoken? How many Jonas have to suffer before we learn God loves us? God's love reaches all men. God's love changes all men. God's love follows all men, even men like Jonah. Boys and girls, this retold story of Jonah written by Norman C. Habel, is also a true story written in the Bible, in the book of Jonah. I encourage you to go read that. I love you all, and thanks for watching.